Hello again, I'm Jeremy Link, Service Manager for Superior Water and Air, proudly serving Utah's water treatment needs. Today we're going to talk a little more in depth about brine or salt tanks. If the salt that is in your tank has not moved for a few weeks, you may have one of the following issues. The first aspect we'd like to talk about is the metering of the system. On a smart ship or an on-demand system, it counts down the amount of gallons that flowed through the system before it needs to regenerate. In some instances, it counts down in tens of gallons, hundreds of gallons, and single gallons. Watching the meter display, whether it's physical or on a dial, will tell you whether that's properly working or not. On a typical metering system, the turbine, which has two magnetic links on both sides, to detect through a metering system, whether it be mechanical like this one here, that shows you the gallonage on the outside of this dial in, in hundreds of gallons. On an electronic assembly like this one here, it counts down the gallons uh, numerically from total capacity to zero before it needs to regenerate. The second aspect I'd like to talk about is the injector. There are several different types of injectors. If there is water slowly going to drain during the brine rinse cycle, it should be drawing the brine. That's what causes the venturi or the suction or vacuum of the brine out of your tank. If one of these injectors has been clogged, you will not be drawing brine from your salt tank. Okay, the third aspect we'd like to talk about today is the brine valve or float assembly. If you were to remove the float assembly during brine draw or brine rinse, you can usually listen for that suction and follow it back to the control valve. So if all three of these components seem to be functioning properly, you may have what's called a simple salt bridge. A salt bridge happens when the temperature and the humidity is perfect and causes that top form layer of salt to harden. The easiest, quickest way to break that down is hot water. Get a pitcher of hot water, pour it around the outside edges, get your favorite pair of cowboy boots on and give it a couple of kicks. A little persuasion will go a long way and you do not need to use a stick or a shovel handle to break that down. That way you don't stand a chance of puncturing the side of your salt tank. So again, I hope this has helped with your system working more efficiently. If you have further questions regarding your water system, feel free to give us a call. We'll be happy to come out and give you a 21-point diagnostic inspection.